Hello internet, this is uh, David White here from our uh, Zestos Orchard and so this uh, plant in front of us is a very important um, plant and has a big impact on uh, the orchard and so what is called Trofoliata as you can see here hopefully we've got three leaves so hence the trifolia and it is believe it or not a citrus uh, tree and you can see here some pretty impressive thorns you know that kind of uh, thorn and so this is actually quite hard to work around as you can see it's um, rather nasty but it has a very important function and it's actually set fruit uh, already this year if we peel this back you'll be able to see that uh, we've got a oh sorry got a piece of fruit there that's set and that's coming from the um, flowers so it's got quite wonderful flowers you see now the importance of this is that it's actually deciduous so right now it's uh, growing back all its leaves from after spring and so the sap flows up to the top and uh, it comes true from seed and so you plant the seeds and that forms all the rootstocks of New Zealand citrus because it is uh, resistant to a certain disease we've got in our soil and so therefore long-term citrus growing can go on but the important thing is as much as it looks beautiful now come autumn late autumn really all the disease uh, all the nutrients start to come out of the leaves and flow down into the stem down here and then down of course into the roots for winter storage and that affects significantly how the citrus behave here in New Zealand and so we'll just go to another location to show you why okay okay so here we can underneath our trees now and if we look closely here you can see that's the root stock down below and then it connects up to the uh, tang this is tangelo tree above it and so the root stock gets nice and big and uh, you can see above it the um, the tree and so for whatever I were before the um, root stock was cut off about here and has regrown out of here and so we've kept the root stock alive but what is an interesting is you can see here that there's a whole bunch of tangelos that have dropped on the ground and so what in there in various stages of decay and so what happens is that in uh, about the middle of winter when all the sap has flowed to, back towards the roots the tree decides that it can't carry all the fruit um, all the way through autumn oh, sorry all the way through winter and into spring because all the nutrients have flown back into the roots and so if there's not enough nutrients in the leaves to support the fruit the fruit drops off and goes on the ground um, and of course this is a bit of a waste uh, and we work quite hard to try and minimize this fruit drop uh, by providing good nutrition to the trees but it still goes on and uh, this year we actually lost a large uh, about 50 percent of the crop of the oranges um, so we could have changed some management things there tangelos don't seem to drop as much so this is what would be called a small amount of fruit drop from a good tree uh, but of course commercially this is all lost income and so what they do now in the US they spray with a hormone that makes sure that the fruit don't drop off I don't know if they do this in New Zealand um, and spray the hormones so the fruit don't drop off but I suspect they might I've not looked into it um, this is the box here where my I'm trying to experiment with some fungi um, and yes you can see all the way through here the problems with fruit drop so when you get produce from us um, you don't get any of the spray hormones and you don't get any forced uh, fruit to stay on the tree we only be, supply the fruit that the tree can uh, obviously handle to produce because we believe that's the most nutritious and so we don't want to force the tree to spread out its nutrients and prov uh, provide fruit that is sub standard or lower in nutrients than this the fruit that we do ship so that's another reason why Ubi is awesome uh, who's our buyer and uh, we produce some fantastic fruit so bye for now Here's a little extra bonus. This is a uh, piece of rootstock down below and the probably orange at the top. And you can see this is from a tree we've cut down to make room for the house. And so you can see there is quite a distinct graft line in the um, stock here uh, in the tree. So this one's being raw, this one's just sitting in my shed because I thought it was really awesome, couldn't put it through the fire because of the way it looked. And here's another one which is. Uh, been polished up I've carved and polished this one up for a gift from my wife um, just a little something to sit on a dresser but you can see here that the color change is quite distinct between the root stock and the uh, the
standard tree. So yeah, a little bit of bonus for you to have a look at that because uh, you don't often see that. So awesome, catch you, bye.